What is up everybody, this is Ronnie from Canva and yes, today I'm rocking a white Canva t-shirt for a change. Uh, welcome, this is a new episode of our tutorials special CCC edition and today I have the great pleasure to welcome once again in this show the great Sandy Sevilla from the Philippines. Uh, Sandy is one of our CCCs, she runs a creative agency in the Philippines and she is going to teach us something very cool today. So Sandy, are you here? And if yes, what are you going to teach us today? Hi Rani, hi everyone. So for this tutorial, I'll be teaching you four different ways and how you can create magic using the background remover. Creating magic with the background remover, that sounds exciting. So Sandy, if you are ready, the floor is yours. All right, let's get started. So the first process that you can do is when you wanted your image to have blurry background, just like this example right here, you can achieve this in Canva by using a background remover and your blur tool. So let me show you how it's done. I've got an empty page right here and I'll let me pull up that image that we wanted to use, which is this one and just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so this image is going to be your base and then we will create a copy of this. So hit and duplicate to make sure that we have the exact size and proportion. So just place this somewhere, like set this aside and place this somewhere. As long as you're able to click on it back later on, you'll be fine. So you can just place it anywhere as long as you can click again on it later on. So going back to the base image, this is the image that we will um, turn into a blurry one. So hit and adjust. Then go to blur and adjust its intensity by doing this. So that's scrolling from left to right or you can simply type in um, the numbers right here. So I'll use 20. I'll type into zero. There you go. So that's really blurry compared to the second image right here on top. And what we will do now is to place this right on top of the first image and then click on effects and remove the background. Okay, by doing so, what will happen here is that the background of this image will become transparent, making the blurry image at the back visible. And there you have it. So you have now a blurry background for this image. Now what you wanted to do is to group them, to secure them, and to easily resize and move both pictures together. So now let's move on to the second process, which is using the background remover plus gradient. So this is like adding a fading effect to your image. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. Let me pull up the image again right here. Then just drag it all the way here. Okay, then this time we wanted to use a gradient. So go to elements and type in gradients. We're going to use that square purple one that is fading. So this is the guy that we will use. So let's get back to this right here. And then adjust the size of this and flip this flip horizontal because we wanted um, the transparent side to be on the side where your image is just like this and for this um, example I don't want to use the purple one so I'm changing this to white instead to achieve that fading effect okay so I'm gonna place it right here and then I'm gonna create several copies or several duplicate of this gradient so that's one make sure when make sure to properly align it with the other gradient so it will become thicker okay so that's one two three four okay so that's four gradients okay and then i'm gonna group them so i can easily um manage um the four gradients all together so like that okay so we have now like the fading effect but I wanted to 
um, make my image still visible. So it's okay to have the background with the fading effect, but I wanted my picture to stand out. So what you can do is click on this, create a duplicate, and then remove the background. Once that's done, just properly align this image without the background to the original one. There you go. Then you can now add other elements or text. Now let's move forward to the third process, which is um, using your background remover and adding photos and shapes. All right, so I'm going to use this image right here. So this is the one. The first thing that you want to do is to delete the background of this image. So I'm going to remove that. Then after this, you can go ahead and choose another image that you can use as a background. So you can like simply leave it as is or just change the color or anything, something like that. Or you can just simply also use another photo as a background. So something like this. Okay, so I wanted to use this brick wall right here as a background. Or you can also use other um, background images with texture, so whichever suits um, you, your project. So I'm just showing an example that you can use other um, images as a background as well. Okay, so you can also add shape to this, so you could probably add a circle at the back. Something like that. Okay, or you can add another shape so probably a rectangle so I'm gonna do it like this and then place it at the back all right there you go and then now we move on to the last um, process which is creating an out of bound effect using your background remover and um, frames so let me show you how this is achieved so first things first is to pull up again your image and place it on a corner. Okay, we're doing this so that it will be easier for us later on um, to create a duplicate of the image while we are putting it on a frame. Okay, so first put your image anywhere that you'd like. So you can put it right there or right here. But for this example, I want to put it on this um, corner because it's easier for me and then pull up an element which is the round frame so this one okay change the transparency of this frame to maybe 50% because I wanted to see how my image will look like while on the frame so let's just say for example like this so that's it then turn the transparency back to 100 okay now create a duplicate of this image and place it on the frame so you notice the image adjusted um, its size because of the frame size so what you wanted to do now is to adjust this and make it um, with the same size as the other image on the back so double click on that and then start stretching your image so like that and then let's go. So you now have um, your image in a frame. It's just that it looks like it's not there because we have the image at the back. So you can actually move this. Okay. And then lock this one first so that this image won't won't take over the other image inside of that frame. You can actually just place this first on top and then start removing background. Once your background is removed, we can now start cutting um, the image by cropping it this way. There you go. Then you can now group them. Unlock this one first so you can group them. Grouping them will help you um, manage um, this image right here and move them and resize them all together all right there you have it friends um your four ways and how you can use your background remover wow this was amazing sandy so i really loved all four of your techniques uh so let me recap we had background remover plus blur background remover plus the gradient background remover with shapes and my favorite 
the out of bound effect. I really like this effect. I think it could make really great profile pictures. And I've seen more and more people using this technique since you started teaching about it. So congratulations. Uh, Sandy, you didn't deceive as always. You are an amazing Canva creator. Tell us, where can people learn more about you? Where can we learn more about your business? Um, yes, you can find me on Facebook and on Instagram. Just follow me at Sandy Solutions. You can also visit my website, sandysolutions.com. All right, guys, you've heard it. Go check out Sandy's business. If you need someone to design for you with Canva, she's your gal. Uh, she's creating amazing designs and she really knows her Canva. This is it for this week, guys. This was our show. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you guys for watching until the end. I will see you in the next video.